When you think of barbecue, states like Texas and the Carolinas may come to mind, but one elite barbecue team in Montana making a name for themselves across the country. MTN Samantha Harrelson introduces us to the guys of Montana Outlaw Barbecue. We showed up with just, it, it looked like uh, a train wreck coming in there. I mean, honestly, it was not anything close to a professional look. Tyler Hamilton is one third of a father son competition barbecue team out of Columbus, Montana. Their hobby quickly turning into real talent. And with the help of some big names, Montana Outlaw Barbecue took off. So to go from a team that was at the level where you saw all these big rigs come in and you're like, yeah, we don't have a chance. You know, we're, you know, we'll hope to place in the top 10 because one of these guys is going to win it to kind of flip script now to where we are and be one of those teams that when we pull into a contest, people recognize the name and they know that on any given day we could, we could pull out a victory. I've been blessed. I mean, not very many people get to spend the time and have the experiences with your two sons like I get to. Uh, the winning and, and all this other stuff, that's, that's not even the best part is just being able to spend the time with my sons. They hit their stride in 2016, entering 14 competitions and receiving top five placements in all but three. They were invited to the exclusive Jack Daniels Invitational, and the icing on the cake, or in this case, sauce on the brisket, winning the title of Reserve World Champion at the Kansas City World Series of Barbecue. People were asking us, what do you use, what do you use, and we, we kind of saw an opportunity to say, well, instead of telling them what we're using, why don't we create our own, why don't we, we work backwards and say, these are the flavors we really like, let's design our own rubs. The family, who owns the Ace Hardware in Columbus, began to sell their rubs in Ace stores around the state, and they took off. The, the sport we have locally is great, I mean, lots of, so many of the folks never get a chance to even try our barbecue because we, we're doing it in a contest away, so any opportunity we have, we can make barbecue and give it to our community. We love doing that. Just goes to show you that it doesn't matter where you're from. If you, if you want to put in the time and you have the energy to do it, you can, you can accomplish great things. Just this month, they made a deal with Ace Hardware to sell their rubs in stores around the country. And right now, they're working with other major retailers like Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. The end game I, I see for this is really, you look at these rubs and, and potential sauces and stuff down the road. A lot of people, the idea of cooking a brisket for you know six to 12 hours probably isn't realistic. They just don't wanna do that. So how can we gear this towards people that wanna do stuff in under an hour? Their success is hard earned. And while they have a lot more they want to accomplish, Rick Hamilton says at the end of the day, it's all about family. I I, my standard answer is I'm just blessed that I get to do this with my boys and you know, they still want to do it with me. I mean, sometimes you got, they don't want to do anything with you, so I'm, I'm double blessed. So uh, that is the best part. All the rest of the stuff, all the successes we have, that, that's shadowed, I mean, shadowed by the, the fact that we get to do it as a family. In Columbus, Samantha Harrelson, MTN News. The Hamiltons say they hope to continue to expand, eventually developing a line of sauces. They also hope to begin a series of how-to videos to help bring great barbecue to backyards around the state and beyond.